630. It is a tough start to the morning. A Cameron police officer has been killed while responding to a domestic disturbance call. Texas today's Meredith Haas has been on the scene for hours gathering information. Meredith, what a heartbreaking story to have to report this morning. What's the latest information you have? Absolutely heartbreaking, Jasmine. I mean, it's a solemn morning here in Cameron where we now know a Cameron police officer has been shot and killed. It was around 11 p.m. Wednesday night when Cameron police got a call in about shots fired here at the 700 block of East 7th and um, Lamar Avenue in Cameron. It was a woman who called in saying she was being shot at. Luckily, she was able to make her way to a local store where she seeked refuge. Now, as for the police, it was Rockdale police and Cameron police who were on the scene first. They went into this home where this woman had been shot at and the suspect was in there. He then started exchanging fire with the police officers. That's when he shot and killed a Cameron police officer. Now, the Cameron police officer was rushed to Baylor Scott and White. That is where he later succumbed to his injuries and died. Now, at the scene, it was the suspect that was shot and killed by police officers. Now we know that police officers along with Texas Rangers have been investigating this and it is an open investigation throughout this whole morning. They've been here for hours and they will continue to be here throughout the afternoon. The suspect was neutralized and a camera police officer was struck and a camera police officer was transported to Scott and White Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased. You know, you hear about these things in big cities, but it, there's no town or community that's immune from domestic violence or any kind of violence for that matter. So that's why there's, you know, there's always caution that when officers go to work every day, they're, they're always prepared to, to face evil. And Now, once again, that suspect who was involved in this domestic dispute has since passed away. He was shot and killed by officers. The woman involved, she is at the hospital right now. We do not know her condition, but sadly, we do know that that Cameron police police officer was shot and killed and later died at Baylor Scott and White. And as for this morning, I mean, this neighborhood is safe. Everyone is safe, probably waking up to some very hard news for the Cameron community. Live in Cameron, I'm Meredith Haas. Jasmine. Okay, thank you, Meredith. The story we will continue to following all morning and, of course, all throughout the day.